good day I'm here in the garden I finally um, I finally got some basil so I'm going to plant that and I lost my spade I've looked all over for it don't know what happened to it so I'm using this thing or I can just use my hand so I'm just gonna make a hole big enough for it take it out of this plastic piece and just kind of smoosh out the bottom a little bit plant that in there all right and then it's important to water this right away so I'm going to water it take a little behind the scenes well you're not gonna see it but I'm gonna go ahead and water the rest of it I'll be back at you in just a minute oh my gosh sorry I have a thing for spiders you know I did play one of Charlotte's babies in a school play when I was in grade school so I've always been partial to spiders my my husband just kills them but I can't, I can't do it. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. All right, I'll leave you alone. Ta-ta for now, spider. Okay, and I was wondering what the heck was wrong with this plant, because it was getting all dried out. Lobelia, and it doesn't like full sun. And it was getting full sun. So I'm gonna put it in the shady spot. Well, it gets a little bit of sun and then gets shade. So hopefully she'll perk up. Because I loved her. And I should give her a little bit more water. Because I just took her out of the sun. So hopefully we'll see her liven up. Alright guys, I'm learning all this stuff. And I'm learning in bits and pieces. So that's a good thing. Alright guys, on to the next. Oh my gosh guys, what is this? I have strawberries. Look at, they're all coming in. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I don't think I'm going to get two, uh, co uh, excuse me, I don't think I'm going to get another plant, but this makes me excited. Let's see how long they last, if the birds get them, if I need to cover them, if I need to spray them, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited, that's so cool. I know, I'm getting excited over grown strawberries. It's the little things, guys. And guys, I also got another strawberry plant. The strawberry plant and the basil plant were a donation <laughs> by my mom. So yeah, we got those in and I just watered it. So yeah, looking good. Okay, guys, so I lost my camera woman. So we're gonna go inside because somebody's here to visit my grandpa and let's see if we can get him recorded. All right, grandpa, I'm just recording you because we have a visitor and he wants to play some wonderful music for us today. Oh, do you wanna get up? I know you're just gonna go back to sleep. All right, look at you go. You go there. Yep, getting, getting, staying strong. All right. All right, here we go. We're recording. Our Father in heaven, our Father in heaven, here, here. our Father in heaven, our Father in heaven. sanctified your name be lifted high Father your name be sanctified your name be lifted high Father your kingdom come to stay to 
Okay, guys, that was beautiful music, and that was an original by the gentleman who sang it. And when he comes to visit my grandpa, because he is in hospice, um, this guy is just wonderful. And uh, it's hard for my grandpa to hear because he has an old hearing aid. Because when he was in respite care about a month ago, they lost his hearing aid, so we're waiting on the new one. But anyway, um, so yeah. Oh, there goes my husband trying to ruin my video. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> He's such a little stinker. Anyway, so I have a little story. So yesterday, um, my son's friend who lives with us. <coughs> excuse me. Um, he was not feeling good yesterday. And he was even saying, oh my gosh, I'm so glad they shut down early at work because he was just not feeling good. And we thought it was because Sunday, he bought this hot sauce that's like a million Scoville or some crazy stuff like that. And so we were just chalking it up to the hot sauce, like doing something to his intestines or something, I don't know. So um, my son was putting together this metal bunk bed and the spring like popped off and like went right into um, his friend's monitor. And so my son felt bad about that. And I was like, don't worry about it. It's just, we'll just go get him another one. So, um, his friend and I went to go get a new monitor and, um, everything was going good, but he was still not, he's like, could barely lift the monitor. And it was like the 36 inch. I mean, it's a nice monitor. And so he's just like, I'm just not feeling good. And he drove, I mean, we were gone for like an hour getting this monitor. And so we come back and I'm like, go tell my husband your symptoms because my, my husband's a pretty smart cat. So he goes and talks to my husband. He's like, it might be your appendix. And so then I guess um, my son's friend went and, um, you know, his, talked to his parents on the phone and like, yeah, you better go in. So he went to the emergency room and yes, he had to have his appendix taken out. So it was just crazy how things like that just happen. Um, but he's back now and he's fine. And um, so I've been checking on him. And so yeah, just crazy how things happen. He's only 21, so it's kind of wild. So if um, you don't want your appendix taken out, I'm looking at the ca wrong camera. If you don't want your appendix taken out, do not try hot sauce. That is a million Scoville. <laughs> this is crazy. 
All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. Ta-ta for now.